Today on Games Up, we will be playing Die Händler von Osaka, or The Traders of Osaka in English, an economic card game designed by Susumu Kawasaki and published by Asmodee in Germany. In The Traders of Osaka, you are traders in Japan and will purchase valuable goods at the market and then try to guide them safely across the dangerous seas to Edo, who will successfully deliver the most goods and hence be named the most profitable trader in Japan? Join us to find out as we play The Traders of Osaka. Five cards from the draw pile are placed face up in the market section, and three cards are placed in the farm section. All four boats are placed in Osaka. On a player's turn, they complete one of the three following actions. Action 1. A card from the market can be taken up into a player's hand, where it counts as coins for later purchasing or insuring goods. Action 2. Market cards can be purchased using the coin cards in a player's hand. The player must buy all available cards at the market. The purchased cards become merchandise placed in front of the player. When goods are purchased, ships advance on the board. When one good of a color is purchased, the corresponding ship advances one space on the board. When two or more goods of a color are purchased, the corresponding ship advances a maximum of two spaces. Action 3. A player may reserve a card in the market or the farm. Only that player can later take up that coin card or purchase it when it is in the market. When one or more ships reach Edo, a scoring round takes place. Players sell their goods of the ships that reached Edo. The scoring details are discussed during the gameplay. Players receive achievement tokens when selling their goods. These tokens give bonus points during later scoring rounds. If a ship is in the black tide area when another ship reaches Edo, it will sink, lose its goods, and return to a nori. Players can choose to insure goods of this color using their hand cards. Uninsured goods of the sunken ship are lost. The game ends when one player has eight or more achievement tokens after a scoring round. We will start the game by picking our hand cards, mm -hmm. and the player with the smallest sum will be starting player for the game. You pick until a value of eight, so I have five, ten. Huh. Yeah, but only two cards, so. <laughs> and I will pick three, I have five, and I have eight. Mm -hmm. So I will be starting. I have the lowest value. I get to pick um, a token or um, an achievement token. Mm -hmm. And I can pick any color. I will pick a blue one. I'm also going to pick a blue one. Oh, <laughs> hmm. interesting. I will start by going to the market, mm -hmm. and I'm going to take this red five card up mm -hmm. into my hand. Yeah, I'm going to pick the mm. five blue. Going to continue adding to my hand values. I'm going to take the blue three. Now the market is pretty, pretty cheap, so. Yeah, I think I'm still going to pick okay. another two. <sighs> I will just take the two and okay. we don't buy any goods this round. So yeah, so. what happens now is that we have to fill up the market. Inexpensive, no. No five cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm spending 12. You're going to buy it, okay. I'm going to buy it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. So we have uh, a red card for a red ship. Um, yellow. And then we have Three, three green for the green, but the max the, the max of ship can move is two. Yeah. yeah. 
Hmm. A lot of boat movement. Mm -hmm. That drowned pretty nice. Him. Yeah, so I can fill up the market again for you. Great. Let's hmm. see what I can do with this market. Hmm. The red cards look nice, but I think I will continue adding to my hand for now and take the five red. I need again hand cards, so I will take the three red. I'm going to take the two green. I don't want you to be pushing the green too far right now. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to yeah take the blue. Hmm. You have so many hand cards, you, I have, know, to, you have to I, do something I know. with it. I, I think I'm actually going to reserve this five mm -hmm. yellow for hopefully the next round. So now I can decide if I want to have another red. Yeah, let's, I will just spend yeah. two and this will move the red ship. Okay. Hmm. Now we can fill up the market right. again. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm going to buy the market. I need to <laughs> get so some many, goods. Yeah. You have so many so cards in your it's hand. 17. I have. Do I have 17? I mean, I definitely have 17. I just want to try to get the correct amount. So, yes, this is 17. Thank you. I'm going to start a little collection of my own. Okay, so one, what is it? One, one red. One red. Two, two green. Two green. And two, two yellow. yellow. Oh, so the green right now is getting pretty close. Hmm. Okay. Okay, then we can fill up the market. And it is my turn and I will reserve the five queen. Mm. I have 17. No. <laughs> Uh, where I mean, you would be not doing me a big favor, so you would destroy all of my. You know, I have to buy it. Um, it's just, yeah, I cannot uh, insure anything, so I would lose my yellow and red. Uh, no red, no red wouldn't make it. Okay, yeah. I'm taking the blue. Okay. Uh, yeah. One red. I will take the blue five. It's not exactly what I want, but... But this was even better now for me. Mm -hmm. I need that, 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 and that. I don't need that anymore. So I need ten. Yep. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, we are moving definitely red. Mm -hmm. And then I have two blues. Yeah. Green. <laughs> oh man, you're green. Which means green goes into the harbor. Edo. So Edo. So before we um, do the whole like trading goods, I would yeah. say we do the um, because there's of course also the black tie, the Enchuada, Enchunada current, mm -hmm. which brings the ships back to Anori and the ships lose their goods. Um, we can spend the same color to ensure our goods for A the, for the rest card, of yep. the, the game. So maybe I will go first. Yep, can do it. Um, I think I will just, you know, give up the my yellow. Yeah. My yellow. Yeah. And now I would need, I need three. So I have a three red with one insurance guy mm -hmm. symbol on it and another um, card with two insurance symbols on it. Nice. So I can um, then now ensure it for mm -hmm. the, the whole game. I'll turn them like this for the rest of the game. Oh, nice. And it also goes back now. Of course, you have to do the same for you. I mean, yeah. So 
I really did this poorly. I can't insure my yellow, Ooh. which is very silly because it's what I was collecting. So okay, this, so this really, was perfect for me. Oh, financial ruin for me, but uh, yeah, I will insure my one red just so I feel a little bit better. And I have a three red mm -hmm. with one insurance guy. And so, yeah, whew, that was a pretty bad current <laughs> for me. <laughs> um, then we're going to over to the trading part. Um, so I have in total five cards. Three. The highest card is a five. Mm -hmm. I don't have any achievement tokens, so it's uh, five times five. So mm -hmm. 25 divided by five are five points. So exactly these five cards. Let's take up the three victory points. And well done. That worked out really nicely for you. So I thankfully have two green cards. So my highest is five and I have two cards. So five times two is 10. Mm -hmm. And then divided by five is two. So I also just get these mm -hmm. two cards for two victory points. Ah, the ship goes back. Yes, green goes to the beginning. Uh, I will reveal cards again. And we both get green achievement tokens yes, for you, trading yeah. mm -hmm. in our green goods. And then the game ends Edo. as soon as someone has eight yeah. tokens. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, good. Hmm. This is interesting. I'll take up the two. No, I'll take up the two red. And yeah, then I'm taking the two blue. Hmm. I'll take the two green then okay. and let you buy the market. Yeah, no, I'm moving a little bit. Yeah. Spend five to move the red one along. Okay. okay. Three boat showdown going there. <sighs> hmm. Well, oh, red is looking five. pretty good. <laughs> Hey. Hmm. hmm. This is interesting. You definitely are going to push for red to get to Edo. I don't want to let that happen, but we have quite a lot of red out there. Hmm. I will take three blue. Okay. Yeah, I'm buying it. Yeah. <laughs> because then the ship goes in the harbor. Yeah. So it's eight and twelve points. Can I? Maybe I can keep on five, ten, twelve. Okay, five, mm -hmm. ten, twelve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so many reds. Yeah, <laughs> this is like perfect for you. You don't have anything to insure. Oh, you can insure your yeah. new yellow now, but. Yellow comes also, so I'm moving yellow oh. to one spot and that red to Edo. Um, do we do an insurance first? Um, I give up one of my cards and I, and I can insure yellow. Okay, I can't insure yellow. Yellow and I are just not friends yeah. in this game. So so. Back. But I can insure my blue, at yeah, least exactly. I made sure. Have to blue. Yeah, so I can pay a two and a three, which yeah. is three insurance points for blue. So then my blue comes here and is insured then, so. Mm -hmm. Good, then I can sell my red cards. Um, I have in total seven, and five is the highest value, so 35, oh. so I get seven points. <laughs> That's a really, that, I shouldn't have let that happen. That was bad. And I have one red card which is three, three times one is three, but I round up to five and it just gives me one point. So okay, I so convert this card into one. Another achievement token. Uh, and now I can deal with blue. I have a blue mm -hmm. achievement token, so that adds to my highest yes. value card, which is five. So it's a six now. So six times six is 36. I round up to 40. 
divided by five is eight. So, so have, I take these six two more. plus two more. So. That's also very strong. Yeah, that's come back a little bit from my okay, initial back. problems. Hmm. Oh, this is an expensive market right now. Hmm. Okay, I will take up blue five. Mm -hmm. And we're surfing <laughs> the queen. <laughs> Blue right now. I will take up the red three. Mm -hmm. And I have to take the. So now you have to buy it or you have to take it. <sighs> and then, but then the whole market comes down. Yeah, yeah I will buy it. Okay. Oh, this was a good idea. We'll check it out. Yeah, depends on if no whatever comes out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. To get the farm going. Mm. Yeah, good. Mm. Yeah, then I buy the market. So that's 10. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not optimal, but. Uh, yeah, okay. So I spend 10. Mm -hmm. And I can get at least two more blue cards. Mm -hmm. so blue goes in and also. Oh, no, green doesn't. Uh, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. green doesn't, which is you stupid for me. Reserved the green guy, so. Yeah, I cannot save my goods. Okay, and my green was already insured, so yeah. he's safe. So. The green goes, goes, goes back with red, nothing happens. Yep. So blue, so blue. I can start again. So yep. I have one blue achievement token from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Three cards, the highest value is five, so now six, mm -hmm. 18. So four victory points. Okay. And do you get a, another blue token? Yeah. So I have two blue tokens mm -hmm. and a value of five. So that gives me, my highest card is now worth seven. Times three is 21, so I round up to, to 25, 25, so, so I get five, five points, yeah. So you get two more? Yep. Yeah. So it's mm -hmm. five victory points, and I get another blue token. And yeah, I have seven right now, so hmm. see if I can close the game yeah. soon. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm taking that. Five, okay. I need more value mm -hmm. in my hand, so... It's going to be the same. So I'm taking this here. Okay, then I take the yeah. two yellow. Um, now I have to decide. Yeah. Yeah, I'm spending money. Okay. Move up green then. Yeah, I mean, green is already there, so maybe. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> the green cards need to... Okay, now the red comes up. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. No green, and again, no, and the first green, okay. Okay. Oh. I'll take up the yellow mm -hmm. five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will take up the yellow three. Yeah, I'm taking up the mm -hmm. red five. Yeah, I don't need to push blue also right now, so blue. I'll just take That's it up it. and... <laughs> I think blue is done for yeah. that game. Okay, Interesting. Ah, red. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I will... I don't know if this is silly, but I will reserve you the red reserve. five. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm betting on red to make just know for one last big move, I just... <laughs> collect points. Okay. Yeah, then I can buy it. I okay. have to spend five for my the red and then another 
which means two, so nine points okay. for the market. So, so yellow moves and yeah. three moves and, and red moves, moves one. one. So we have a race maybe between <laughs> green and red. Let's see. Then I have a yellow. Oh, yellow's not so bad for me either. Mm. Yeah, but yellow is quite far away. Yeah. So mm. and red. Hmm. Red okay. could be the winner then. <laughs> hmm. If you can buy the market, then... What is it? How many points? 10? It's 18. 8, yeah, I will buy it. Okay, yeah. That's, makes sense. Yes, okay. So, 10, mm -hmm. 18. And I think you, the, the game will the end, so I don't I will have get, to ensure yeah. anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I get two red cards. Yeah, nice. The move boat moves two. Two yellow. Two yellow cards, but it doesn't yeah, matter. Doesn't the green make. also doesn't move in front blue. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so you can ensure yellow and green, but I yeah, mean the, game, the game will end. Ending, so no need to. I will just put these cards yeah. for the overview. And they yeah. also my hand cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Then let's do my goods first. I have four cards. I have one with the value of five. I have two achievement tokens, mm. so seven times four, 20, 30. 30. So it's six, six. points. Mm. Well done. That was a good last round for you. Yeah. Okay, I only have one red card. It's a value of five, but I have two red tokens. So it's seven times one is seven, round up to 10. So it gives me two points then. Mm -hmm. So not completely lost, but. Maybe not the best last round for mm -hmm. me. But, and then we each get a red token. Yeah, so this would be the tiebreaker. Yeah, and uh, yeah, because I have, I have, seven, have eight, eight so. so that's ending the game. Then let's you now count our points. Mm -hmm. Who wants to go first? <laughs> I have a feeling you won, so. I don't know. I have 23 points. I have 28 points. Ah. I knew it. <laughs> you had some pretty strong trading rounds yeah. in Edo. So. No, it was, it was a fun round. Yeah, it was just really Definitely. good. Mm -hmm. The Traders of Osaka offers a decent amount of strategy and interesting decision-making opportunities, despite coming in such a small package. Every move you make in this colorful card game must be carefully considered, requires quite a bit of planning ahead, and forces you to decide between advancing some goods at the expense of others. Should you push forward the green goods, even though you can not ensure your vulnerable blue goods? Such tough decisions often emerge in the traders of Osaka. However, the game can feel repetitive and might take a few rounds to get in the flow of the gameplay. The game plays well with two and three players. If you do not like randomness and the inability to plan ahead, then it is not highly recommended for four players. Thank you for watching Games Up. See you next time.